Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got an exciting video. We have four NBA hoops packs. Yes, we have four of them. We are going to rebuild an NBA team. So what we're going to do is we're going to open all four packs. There is five cards in each pack. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to have a team of 15. So five players will not make the team. I'm going to try and rebuild that team, try and get them a championship, see what happens in the first year, and then try and rebuild. We'll try to do like a two, three year challenge. If you guys are new, hit that like button. Um, you want to see more videos like these. If you want to see more pack openings, comment down below and uh, we'll do them. So let's get into today's video. Let's head over to uh, the pack openings and let's see what we can pull uh, on our way to an NBA championship. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so let's start this out. We've got the four NBA hoops packs. I actually do want to do pack openings in the future. So if you guys do want to see them, please let me know. Um, I 100% will do them. As you see here, we just need to have a look and see what we can get. Hopefully, we can build a good starting five. We can have some good bench players, some good role players. Let's have a look. If you guys want to see more of these videos, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And our first player is Wesley Matthews. Now, he'll definitely be a role player, definitely a bench player. We get Gafford from the Chicago Bulls. Don't know if we'll bring him. Oh, we get Bam. So Bam out of bio. That is a good get for us. Big Bam. He'll start at the center position or the power forward position. Evan Fournier. Definitely a shooting guard. And CP3. So CP3. Uh, we, I mean, we've got two starters at the minute. We've got Bam and we have CP3. So they both will be in our starting lineup. We like that. Bam and CP3. Let's move on to pack number two. So pack number two. Man. I can, I'm probably going to have to make uh, four or five cuts just to this team um, in order to to, uh, to to form this this ultimate team. So we've got Shake Milton, so that's not too bad. We've got Terrence Davis, RJ Barrett, that's a good shooting guard position. Tory Craig, good role player. And we get Christian Wood. Okay, so Christian Wood will definitely be our starting center. We'll, we'll push Bam to the power forward position, and uh, we get some good bench pieces. But we do need to make some cuts, so... Tory Craig and RJ Barrett are actually really nice gets. I'm actually uh, a big fan of those uh, too. So let's go on to pack three. Tim Hardaway Jr., really nice bench player. Um, I don't know. Oh, Markeith Morris, another good bench player. We need a starter. And Victor Oladipo. Man, that's a good get. And Malik Monk. So Victor Oladipo probably will be in our starting lineup so far. Um, if we have to change it, we have to change it. But Big Vic. Add him to that starting lineup. I don't know if this is a championship team at the moment as we get our final pack underway. Let's see what we can get out of this pack. Our final pack. Oh, I know. I see Devin Booker. I see. All right, let's have a look. We get a Koji from the Minnesota Timberwolves. Don't know if he'll make the lineup. We get Kevin Knox. We get Jimmy Butler. So Jimmy Butler. We also get Mo Bamba. And I'm pretty sure we get Devin Booker. So Devin Booker and Jimmy will definitely slot into uh, this starting lineup with CP3, Bam, and Christian Wood. Victor Oladipo will go to the bench, and uh, we're going to roll with this team here. I'm actually uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite impressed with the team that we're going to be rolling out. Um, as this is a little bit blurry. Can we, uh, can we make this look a little bit more clearer? As uh, Like I said, I'm pretty happy with these gets. So this is our starting lineup that we definitely will be running with. We've got Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Jimmy Butler. We've got Bam, and we've got Christian Wood. Some pretty good trade assets. We do have some good bench players um, that I definitely could trade off. So these are the players who will be on the roster. I did make some cuts. This is our starting lineup, as you guys just seen. Um, if you guys want to see more of these videos, please comment down below because I definitely would love to do more of these. Um, it definitely is a lot of fun. Christian Wood. So now this is now this is the bench. This is the bench that we're definitely going to be taking uh, into the team. We've got Tory Craig. We've got Mo Bamba. Uh, we've got Wesley Matthews. We've got RJ Barrett, Markeith Morris. Tim Hardaway Jr., Victor Oladipo, and Evan Fournier. Okay, so let's swing across to NBA 2K. So we put all the players onto a team. I actually put them onto the Phoenix Suns, but what I've decided to do is re basically rebrand this Phoenix Suns team. So you guys are going to see a rebrand of this team. Um, I actually couldn't remove all the players. There had to be some G League players. So there were a few players that actually did not make the cut. So we decided to go with the Seattle Supersonics. They are going to be our uh, our uniform that we're going to roll with. We're going to relocate to Seattle. So Phoenix are no longer 
uh, will be taking their spot. So let's apply this team design and let's go have a look at this starting lineup. So Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Jimmy Butler, Christian Wood, Bam. I definitely would like to move Christian Wood to uh, probably probably to the bench and actually put Bam to the center position and, and actually find a proper power forward. That's what I did want to say. So we're going to simulate to all-star break. We're going to see how we're going. We actually might simulate a few games and just see how this team is going and then see if we have to make any trades or anything like that. Uh, and we have. So 11 and 8. I think we're like two, three weeks into the NBA season and we're currently 11 and 8. I'm thinking just maybe we are probably going to have to make a trade. Let's go and have a look at the standings and all that good stuff. Let's actually go and just see how our players have been going. So Devin Booker is leading the way. Jimmy Butler is averaging around 16. Now, this is the problem with having a lot of stars on your team. RJ Barrett, 14. Maybe RJ Barrett is just some trade bait that we could use because we're trying to win a championship. That is the goal. Uh, with this uh, in real life pack opening video, as you currently can see, uh, we're, I mean, we're not doing too bad. I, I, I mean, that's the fifth seed, so we're pretty happy with that at the moment. I mean, but this was the trade that really sparked me and really, I, I, I had to actually think about it. RJ Barrett, Tim Hardaway Jr. for Jalen Brown and Grant Williams. Man, how could I say no to this? Now, RJ Barrett has got a lot of potential, but look at Jalen Brown. Man. I thought, why not bring Jalen Brown in? We do have Jimmy Butler playing the small forward position, but we could bring Jalen Brown off the bench. Um, so I decided to go with this trade. So RJ Barrett is our first card that we've traded and Tim Hardaway Jr. And we've brought in Jalen Brown. So welcome Jalen Brown and Grant Williams to the Seattle Supersonics. They will be joining the team. So I'm pretty happy with that. And now we are going to simulate to the All-Star break. I'm going to see how we go uh, following the All-Star break. So, let's uh, let's get to the All-Star game. We'll see how we go on. At the moment, we're 11 and 8. We'll see, if we, we'll see if this trade did us any better and see if we need to make some more trades in our first season as the GM of our, our, our packs that we've opened. Let's get into it. So, we have simulated. We are rolling here. We've actually moved from the uh, fifth seed all the way down to the seventh seed, uh, which is pretty disappointing. I'm, I'm not a massive fan of the way we've been playing recently. So, hopefully... Hopefully, we can keep rolling and we can keep going. I mean, I think it's time we need to actually do make some trades before the trade deadline. Uh, we are currently sitting with the seventh seed, trying to hold on, trying to make the NBA playoffs in our first year. Now, I actually think it's a pretty decent team. I just wanted to go and have a look at the uh, NBA standings at the moment. The Pelicans are absolutely rolling at the moment. So we know that CJ currently plays for the Pelicans over on the other video. If you guys want to go check that out in the career videos. Uh, but, I mean... I feel like we can do a lot better than 28 and 26. I mean, I feel that we can... Uh, maybe it's time to make a trade. Maybe it's time to shake things up. We do have a lot of veterans on the team. Um, if you guys remember who we packed, Evan Fournier. I mean, I've been really tossing and turning. Do I trade Evan or do I move... Do I do I just persist with this year and then try and roll roll around for, for another season? So let's have a look. I mean, we don't really want to miss the playoffs in our first year. I mean, we definitely want to make the playoffs and see what we can do. So... This is the trade that I have come up with that I actually really like quite a lot. It was Evan Fournier and Kevin Knox for Aaron Gordon and not well, you, you, you guys know Zeke. Zeke. We'll take uh, we'll take Aaron Gordon. I'm a massive fan of Aaron Gordon. I feel like he can add a lot to this team. He is on 18 mil, so we are. I mean, we are unloading a little bit of salary for Zeke and and for Gordon, but. I mean, we're going to do this deal. So Aaron Gordon will join the squad. A 25-year-old Aaron Gordon, Evan Fournier, will go to the Denver Nuggets. And this trade is complete. So we add an athletic Aaron Gordon. I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, now we can actually probably move Christian Wood to the, uh, to the bench and have Gordon start as a power forward. So these are the stats so far in... Uh, our first season, Bam's been very good. 15 points a night. He's averaging around almost probably. You could probably, you could probably say he's averaging a, a double double uh, for the season, which is which is pretty good. You got Chris Paul having a good season. You got Victor Oladipo, uh, Tory Craig as well. So we have made some changes. We did have one All Star, and that was Jimmy Butler. But we are ready to simulate and see if we make the NBA playoffs. We do have the seventh seeds. So we're going to see if we are, have the ability to make the NBA playoffs. So let's simulate and let's see what happens in our first season. So here we are. We're currently the fifth seed, closing in on the playoffs. And Giannis wins the most valuable player. So no shock there. Giannis is the most valuable player. Average 29 points, 14 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, and around 2 blocks a night. Congratulations to Giannis. Giannis. Precious was six man of the year. Amelo was the rookie of the year. Giannis, defensive player of the year. And Steve Nash with a 63 and 19 record. Let's see if any Seattle Supersonics made it into the All-NBA teams. I can't see anyone here at the moment. 
Uh, All NBA third team, All NBA defensive team. Are we there? And we get Chris Paul. So Chris Paul makes the All NBA second defensive team. Pretty happy with that. We didn't have any rookies on this team. We didn't pack any rookies, but we do have the fifth seed. We have made some changes to the roster. I'm happy with the fifth seed. And that first round, we'll be taking on the Denver Nuggets, which I'm pretty excited about. I definitely feel like we can knock the Denver Nuggets off. Uh, we did trade Kevin Knox, and we traded Evan Fournier to the Nuggets. So first round, we'll be taking on the Nuggets. Look at the Pals, man. First seed, and you got the Clippers and the Lakers absolutely killing it at the moment. Uh, and we're ready for the NBA playoffs. So let's go and have a look at some of the stats. I definitely want to look at stats before we get into the game um, and just see how everyone had been performing. Devin Booker, 22 a night. Jalen Brown, 18. I'm really happy with that trade. I think RJ Barrett was averaging 14 when we traded him. Jimmy Butler just doing everything really for us as we're ready for the playoffs. So here we go, the NBA playoffs. Jamal Murray, Evan Fournier, Michael Porter Jr., Paul Millsap, Nikola Jokic. This is a series I genuinely believe we could get. So, here we go. We simulate the first two games. We up 2-1. We up 3-1 with a chance. And we advance. So, we go through to the conference semifinals. The in, in real life pack team are on their way to the semifinals. And we're taking on the New Orleans Pelicans. Lonzo Ball, Eric Bledsoe, Brandon Ingram, Zion Williamson, Stephen Adams. They were the first seed. Yes, that is right. That's correct. The first seed. How in the world was this team the first seed? And we actually have a 2-2 two, two all. 3-2. And the Pals have a chance to advance to the NBA final, or the NBA Conference Finals. I mean, man, we have a big lead here. 40-42-29. We're not going to lose this game. Okay, so we're going to take this game. Happy with that. 155-107. We're going to try and get Chris Paul his first ring. I mean, uh, we packed him, so we, we just have to. We're going to try and get him that first ring. Jalen Brown, pretty good in this one. Devin Booker and Jalen Brown. Going absolutely ballistic. So game seven between the Pals and the Supersonics. Let's have a look and see what happens in this series. In this last game. And the Pals look like, oh my god, they dropped 37 points in the second. And it looks like they're going to take game... Oh, can we hold on? No, they're going to take game seven. So the Pals are going to advance. They are through to the conference finals against the Lakers. Let's see what happens with the rest of this season. I mean, that's pretty good. We made it all the way to the conference semifinals. And we went out in a game seven to the uh, New Orleans Pelicans and the Brooklyn Nets. No surprises there. They're the NBA champions. Uh, I mean, yeah, real no surprises there. So the offseason. Ready for the offseason. Let's see what moves we can make with the roster. I probably won't be signing too many free agents. I kind of want to see who uh, got the number one pick, got Cade Cunningham. The Brooklyn Nets have the first. What? Oh, okay. I was about to say. Uh, OKC, they got the number one pick. Detroit got second, and New York got three. So, Cade Cunningham going to OKC. Okay. So, we definitely want to juice up this roster. I decided to throw Jimmy Butler into the trade ring, and look who appeared. PG-13 and Terrence Mann. I don't know how I could say no to this trade. Paul George for Jimmy Butler. We bring in... Uh, I, mean, I mean, Jimmy Butler's an overall of 92, but I actually rate Jimmy Butler... I rate Paul George, I think, higher than Jimmy Butler just in the fact that he can get his own bucket when he wants. So we're doing this trade. So Paul George will be going to the Seattle Supersonics and Jimmy Butler will be going to the Clippers. That's our first trade we've made in the offseason. Welcome with our packs that we've opened. And now we're into free agency. So now I just want to look at Chris Paul's uh, Chris Paul's offers. There wasn't too many offers I really liked. I mean, I was trying to get shy. Um, he wasn't available. Russell Westbrook. There's no way I was going to trade CP3 for Russell Westbrook. But we did make. We actually did make a trade. And our trade that we did make, I said earlier that I was potentially going to move him on, and that was Christian Wood. So we are moving Christian Wood on. And this deal here, Clint Capella and a draft pick. I mean, actually no, it's not a draft pick. Well, it is a draft pick. But uh, I actually like this deal. I'm a massive fan of this deal. So I cited as well. I'm going to do this deal. So Christian Wood will be going to the Hawks, and we'll be getting Clint Capella. So Paul George. And uh, Clint Capella are going to join us. And we've sent off Christian Wood. And we've also sent off Jimmy Butler. So we made the conference semifinals. I feel like we've definitely, I wouldn't say upgraded crazily. But I'm pretty happy with what we're rolling with. Now, we actually did go through free agency. And we did sign uh, some veterans. I will show you the veterans. We got Jeff Green. Um, we, all these veterans basically just came for the minimum. We couldn't actually get these players for anything else. So... Uh, Jeff Green will join the roster. Now, this all started from that pack opening. Don't you forget that. So, this is the roster for Season 2. We've got Devin Booker. We've got Bam. We've got Jalen Brown, Clint Capella, Chris Paul, Paul George. Look how stacked this team is. This team is stacked. Absolutely stacked. I definitely want to do this again and uh, try and just start with me. You've got these, these are the veterans we actually brought in. Shumpert, we brought in Bacon, Jeff Green. 
uh, JJ Barea. But this team is absolutely stacked. So let's simulate to the All-Star break and see how we're going this year. So All-Star break and we have the number one seed. Yes, we do. And we've only lost the seven games. So we're absolutely rolling at the moment, this team. Uh, it's, it, I think we were the fifth seed at All-Star break last video. Now, we've traded out Jimmy Butler, RJ Barrett. We've traded out Christian Wood, Evan Fournier. We've traded out a lot of players, but I feel like we've added a lot of good players as well. So, kudos to those hoop packs. I'm really happy with that. Um, Devin Booker having himself a season. you got Paul George as well, Jalen Brown. It actually is a stacked team. I don't think... I feel like it's championship or bust for this team. I feel like if we don't win an NBA championship uh, this season, um, it's definitely going to be disappointing. I mean, look at the team we have. Look at some of the... Uh, us, basically, some of the players we've got on this team. I mean, I'm lost for words. Really good season from our players. Uh, let's go and have a look at the All-Star teams. I just want to show you guys who's an actual All-Star this season and who's been an All-Star. Uh, and we got two All-Stars this time. So we've got Devin Booker and we also got... Who else did we squeeze in here? I know we got Devin Booker and we also got Bam. So Bam Autobio. Okay, so we had two All-Stars, three in total for this challenge. Let's get to the NBA season and see if we can follow our, uh, our form. So we're at the end, actually at the end of the NBA season, James Harden was the most valuable player. But look in the top right. We have the number one seed and we have the conference rank. We're, actually, we're first in our conference and we're first in the power ranking. So what a team we've actually uh, produced with this packs that we've opened. We've made some trades. We've brought some new players in. I'm extremely happy with this team. Monty Williams, 72 and 10. We finished with a 72 and 10. Yes, that's right. 72 and 10. Uh, crazy. Bam Adebayo, he was on the All-NBA team. We also got Chris Paul on the All-NBA defensive team again, two years in a row. Let's see if we can get CP3, his first NBA championship. So first round, we've got the Clippers. And as you guys can see, it's a 2-0 start. Who's actually on the Clippers? Now, we did trade Jimmy Butler there. They've got Otto Porter. I feel like this is this could be a sweep. This has definitely uh, got the potential to be a sweep. And we got three, and we got four. So we go to the conference semis, and we'll be taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. Now, let's have a look at this Memphis Grizzlies team. Ja Morant, you've got Melton, you've got uh, Dylan Brooks. So this is a pretty young team. They've basically kept their, their whole core together. Let's see how we go in this series. We take one. The Grizzlies tie. We take two. We take three, and we take four. So the Sonics are through to the conference finals, and we're taking on Luka Dontich and the Dallas Mavericks, who have Victor Oladipo. Oh, yeah, we have... Oh, did we make that trade? No, we just didn't sign Victor Oladipo. He left in free agency. We have Luka Dontich at the center... At small forward. Sheesh, what's that about? Okay, we take one. We take two. We take three. Oh, Dallas take it. But we're through to the NBA Finals. Okay, so can we complete this? And we're going up against the Boston Celtics. Sheesh, so Jason Tatum. I'm actually not too sure who's on this roster because we do have Jalen Brown. Uh, we did make a trade earlier on. So they've got Kemba Walker. They've got Kyle Kuzma. Sheesh. They've got Robert Williams. And they've got Jason Tatum. Okay. Going up against Chris Paul, Devin Booker. Clint Capello at the power forward position. That is very weird. But let's see how we go. Game one goes to the Sonics. Game two goes to the Sonics. Game three goes to the Sonics. And I tell you what, we could be well on our way to a series sweep and winning the NBA championship in our second year of this rebuild. Oh, this is tight. This is very tight. Can we hold off? 126, 120, 130, 40 seconds to go. And we're jumping in. And I tell you what, Booker misses the first. Just got to hit one. And it honestly feels like we could uh, we could finish this rebuild video. And Booker knocks the second down. So it's been a two-season rebuild. If the uh, Celtics do something crazy here and hit this crazy shot, then they uh, they will stop us winning the championship. It only took two seasons uh, with the pack, with the players that we got in the packs. As Kemba for three. He misses. And that is going to do us. Clint Capella is going to go to the line here. He's going to have a chance to put this game to bed. Capella... Misses the first. Interesting. Got to knock this second one down. Surely Clint Capella. And he does. So we are going to complete the rebuild in two video in, in two seasons. Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. Actually was a whole lot of fun um, opening the packs. If you guys want to see more pack openings, please comment down below. I definitely want to do them. Um, if this gets, let's just comment down below what you guys think of this cap. Because like I said, it's been, it's been a hell of a lot of fun. Um, I'm enjoying it, and uh, we're on the rise to 12K. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next video on the channel.